Hi guys, this is Dan from The Investment ABC, your guide to financial freedom. And in this video, I'm going to give my opinion about the recent volatile action in the stock price of TED. Like most of the TED investors know, the company is about to launch their product this week on the 27th of November in Ohio. And many are on the one hand excited, but on the other hand also fearful that everything will go according to plan. It is no surprise to me and it shouldn't be to you too that the stock price is acting so volatile this week because it is a battle between fear of missing out and being scared to lose a significant portion of your money. It is either make or break time this week for TED. If they aren't launching on the 27th, the stock price would suffer significantly because there is still a little bit of doubt about the company even in the heart of the strongest TED bull. On the other hand, if consumers are able to buy the cigarettes on the 27th, that would boost the share price significantly in my opinion. Many people have the stock on their watch list and are waiting for the launch to press the buy button. Ted dumped from around 2 euro and 70 cents to under 2 euro in the last two days. Some investors were worried that Ted could postpone the launch because they have changed their pictures from the website from available in store on the 27th of November to coming soon. Some member of Ted's Facebook group reached out to Ted via Instagram and asked Ted about the launch and the company replied that Ted is still going to roll out the cigarette packs in the fourth quarter of 2020 and into the new year. I'm not 100% sure if someone faked or photoshopped this screenshot, but to be honest, I doubt it. It seems to me that Ted might postpone their launch the only question is why. I for myself am 99.9% .9 sure that the company is... I already pointed out in my previous videos many things that led me to believe that TED can't be a scam and I don't want to repeat it here. But if there is a delay, hopefully TED will clarify it soon. I hope they don't say that it is due to the current sickness. It could be anything from not having enough finished cigarettes, logistical problems and in the worst case legal issues. And I hope that the Instagram screenshots are fake but if not and Ted has to delay the launch it is just to some minor logistical problems. The reason why I believe that there might be a delay is that Ted hasn't finished its Ted Global website. This is strange when you believe that consumers can buy the product on the 27th because what they do is they're going to go to the website and try to Google the product. There must be a reason that caught the management pretty off guard because they were very confident in launching their product on the 27th of November. If I was SETI, I would have left the fourth quarter of 2020 and only released a specific date when I made sure the cigarettes have arrived in Ohio. In my previous TED video, I was talking about the danger of the FDA demanding something from the company. I hope it is not a letter from the FDA which would delay the launch a little bit longer than just logistic problems. Even if it was the FDA, I am pretty sure the company together with Dr. Orsa can provide the information the regulators need. That might also be a reason why TED might need some legal advice before launching the TED Global website. You really have to be careful with claims and um, what your product can do in terms of health and what not. Something like, our product will help you quit smoking could also be in the gray area. This is just speculation in case of a launch delay, so let's wait until Friday and see what happens. I'm sure Ted will do an announcement on Friday and update us on the current situation. At this moment, we can't do anything but just to wait. This is a perfect opportunity for the market to flush out the shaky hands and distribute them to strong hands. There are a couple of different ways investors can play the stock currently. If you have big gains, you could sell a part of your shares and take out your initial investment. This is my favorite style with very speculative stocks like TED. You can leave the gains and don't worry about it forever and you free your capital for other investments. If you haven't made significantly gains, you could wait on the sidelines until the cigarette hit the shelves. This is the safest way. Though the moment the cigarettes hit the shelf, I expect the stock to skyrocket because many investors are waiting for that. The third option is to buy a small position now and add later to that position. 
whatever you decide to do, we can expect extreme volatility because I haven't seen more potential for greed and fear than in this stock at this current situation. If the cigarettes hit the shelves on time or even delayed and the product is still good, many investors expect a home run and will jump in. On the other hand, many investors are fearful to be a victim of a scam. I belong to the camp of the believers. I just sold a portion of my shares in the last run-up to pull out my initial investment. I will hold the rest until I think TAT reach its maximum potential, which in my opinion will be somewhere in the billions. Everything in this video is just my own opinion and no financial advice. I'm no financial advisor, so do your own due diligence, guys. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up buttons to support the channel, subscribe for more TED updates, share and comment. Bye guys and see you in the next one.